One of the really unique things about Duck is that we do really push our pedestrians and our bicyclists and it's evident in the infrastructure of the town from the boardwalk to the, the paths on the side of the road. But one of the main issues that we have is we have about a mile stretch where our pedestrian traffic and our vehicular traffic merge together and the only thing that separates them are the two lines. And so any type of distracted driving, whether it's looking for directions, trying to find where someone's going, whether they're texting a friend or, or reading something on their phones, you know, they've been in the car for hours and their kids are screaming and yelling, the opportunity for something to actually happen is really high. The average person takes three-fourths of a second to see a threat or something that's in the street and then formulate a plan in their head and then take action and try to avoid a collision with something. So if you're distracted, if you're changing the CD, radio, you're texting and driving, that three-fourths of a second is on top of everything else that you're doing in the car. One of the other issues is the majority of our traffic crashes in Duck happen at our crosswalks. The driver is looking for a shop or they're looking at their phone and somebody comes out into the crosswalk, they don't see them, they have to slam on brakes and either avoid the pedestrian or the person behind them is not paying attention and then we come into another potential collision. So we're having some fun today. We were testing out a few things where we were texting, we were reading some, some web pages, we were looking at directions and even on a slow golf car on a controlled course it was difficult for some of our drivers to maintain their lane, not hit cones, but for stop signs, trash cans in the street. And this hardly translates to some of the lanes that we have in Duck. The lanes that we have in Duck are only 11 feet wide, and you have very little maneuverability. Some of the rules of the road for traversing the town of Duck and really anywhere in the state of North Carolina or other places is all pedestrians should walk against traffic so that you can make constant eye contact with drivers so their intent for you is known and your intent to them is known. Another thing is any cyclists need to be riding with traffic if they are riding in the lane of traffic. So those things are, are good reminders for all of us to know and to practice to keep Duck a safer place. The Town of Duck Police Department would like to ask that when you come into town you abide by the speed limit which is 25 and the reason for that is that we want to make sure that when you're traveling the pedestrians are safe the, the cyclists are safe and all vehicles in motion are safe. There is not much room for error. The Town of Duck's character comes from its pedestrian friendly infrastructure, which means we all need to be responsible. Both drivers, pedestrians, cyclists, it's important to use your crosswalks, obey the speed limit, don't be texting and driving, pay attention to the road. Let's work together to make Duck a safer place for everyone. <laughs>